Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Democracy 3. Today we are starting a brand new playthrough. And the name of that playthrough is going to be the Socialist States of America. That's right, we are going to try and turn the USA into a massive socialist state. Uh, the Democratic Conservatives, let's go something more socialist perhaps. Maybe the Socialist Coalition, and we can be against the Conservatives. Why not? And we're going to press play. So, as I've said already, we are going to try and fix all of America's problems, and we're going to try and enact to... Uh, or, or we're going to try and follow a socialist sort of route in government. Okay, so first thing to uh, to be aware of, health is bad. Education is pretty good. Poverty is too high. Crime is too high and unemployment is way too high. Um, so, also, something that we need to be very, very aware of is the fact that we have a massive debt. We have $3,137 billion worth of debt. That's just incomparable. Looking at it as well, um, our GDP has been flatlining for quite a while and the global economy is about to crash. So, that really uh really makes clear to me the fact that we need to uh that we need to to cut expenditure as much as we can uh, and perhaps increase income if we if we're feeling a little bit dangerous uh let's go and have a look at our expenditure what are we spending a heck of a lot of money on military spending military spending is uh is costing us a lot of dosh um i think we probably reduce it to Around 75 billion for now. It's going to cost us 19 political capital, but it's going to save us a lot of money. So hopefully it's going to be worth it. We're, we're going to want to invest in our state health service, our state schools, uh, state pensions, everything that's sort of state run. We want to uh, we want to make that, that the main thing. We have a credit rating of triple B, BBB. That's not good enough, I'm afraid. How much are we actually paying in debt? Debt, debt, interest, 24 billion a turn. Okay, so that's not too much considering America's got such a large economy. Um, and we're collecting in quite a lot of tax receipts, so that's alright. Let's look at the problems that we face. How can we deal with them? Alcohol abuse, that's costing us 46 billion. That's a lot of, that's a, that's a lot of money. Uh, vigilante mobs, we can solve that through uh, probably spending more on the police force. Internet crime. So we have quite a few sort of... Uh, are quite a few law and order problems or, or social problems as I would probably call them and uh, we've got quite a lot of social problems how are we doing in the sort of how are we doing in this sort of area well the public services area but maybe the the environment and the uh, I don't know domestic domestic policy area perhaps that's maybe what I'd call it Um, drug addiction yeah that's that's another big problem for us obesity that's a problem Goodness me. Homelessness. That's got to be fixed as well. Pollution. Pollution. We can control, I think. Looks like we can control it. We just need to get the car usage down as per usual. Looks possible. We can do it. And we have a skills shortage as well. So we need to bump up our education. And our education's already pretty good. Can we further fund our state schools? We can and we will. That'll make socialists happy with us. It's going to reduce poverty and it's going to reduce unemployment. So this looks like a fantastic policy. Obviously, we're going to reduce private schools. Uh, no, we don't have the political capital anyway. Private schools, really not too concerned with private schools at the moment. They're, uh, they're not on the agenda. Also, we want to get alcohol abuse down. That's something in the, you know we always have to tackle as soon as. Um... I think we should probably have strong restrictions. Alternatively, I think we should probably introduce an alcohol tax. Uh, that's that's usually a pretty efficient way of getting it down. Uh, we're gonna approve the ban. How are we doing in uh, in terms of okay? Our expenditure is now is is gone down. That is good. We're gonna need to cut it a heck of a lot faster than that though. Um. I think that alcohol tax is probably going to achieve two sort of our main aims. One, of course, being reduce the amount of debt that we have, and two, reduce alcohol consumption. Uh, both are very, very, very important for us. Um, where is it? Alcohol tax. 
Where is it? Is it the welfare, perhaps? I can't remember. Where is it? Must be here. Yeah, must be here. No, it'll be in tax. Of course it's going to be in tax. What am I, what am I on about? Alcohol tax. There it is. 113 billion. It's going to cost 30 political capital to implement. I think that's, uh, that's the way forward. Poor people aren't going to like us, but at the same time, it's going to reduce alcohol consumption and it's going to increase poverty. That's that's sort of something we just gotta just gotta get on with. I mean, it's a harsh reality, but alcohol consumption has to come down. It's hurting health, and uh, and it's doing a lot of a lot of bad things for us. Children's food. A law has been proposed to regulate the fat content. Uh, regulate children's food. I think that's probably what the socialists would do. Um, poverty. Poverty is going up strongly actually very 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 strongly that's unfortunate um we're we're gonna have to sort that out wow okay at least there's nobody in the sort of violent groups yet that's fine alcohol consumption that's starting to come down that is good once it comes below the stop trigger we can think about uh we can think about taking our foot off the pedal and perhaps reduce the amount of uh of money people are paying in tax for the alcohol. Um, Anti-social behaviour, that's coming down as well. Ghettos, how do we stop that? Probably just spending more on the police force. Um, I'm I'm very wary of spending any money before we've actually cleared our debt. That's what I think we want to aim for first. That should be our first goal. Build up maybe, I don't know, 100 billion worth of reserves. That's that's probably what I'm thinking at the moment. Uh, also, a way to do that is 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 introducing the uh, the flat income tax. That would bring us in a heck of a lot of money, and that would definitely definitely be uh, be down the right sort of road. Alternatively, the carbon tax that's a very attractive option. Um, both of these two taxes are are probably what socialists would like anyway. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to see. Socialists are starting to not like us. Why? Equality is going down. They don't like technology colleges. Why don't they like technology colleges? Well, that's interesting. Um, we could probably count on that policy. Perhaps later on. Now let's have a look. 25 political capital next turn. We're going to be... We're going to be getting more political capital than we have space for. So we need to spend around 6 political capital. Or, no, four political capital. We need to spend four political capital, and uh, and that should tide us over nicely. What can we spend that on? Hmm, any interesting policies that we can introduce? Perhaps something in transport to, uh, to get car emission limits, no clean fuel subsidy. Telecommuting initiative. That's going to cost us two political capital. That's something that we could do. It's going to cost us six political capital... Um, bicycle subsidies. Bicycle subsidies could work, but nobody seems to like it. Nobody ever seems to like bike subsidies. We're going to introduce this. Trade unionists, parents, commuters. It's going to reduce commuter membership and it's going to reduce car usage. That's exactly what we want to see happen. Um, I really don't want to waste any political capital, so we are going to... We could probably increase spending in the police that's going to cost us four political capital bump it up to max now we are going from sort of 35 billion all the way up to the top and i did say i didn't want to start increasing our spending just yet but at the same time i think it's probably the right thing to do it's going to reduce unemployment a little bit that's fine state employees are going to like us Gonna, yeah, there's there's no disadvantage to doing this. Apart from the cost, there's uh, there's nothing that's too bad. Okay, so so we should come out of this with 48 political capital next turn, which is a pretty nice place to be. Uh, superhero, that's great. Crime and violent crime are both down. Awesome. So we should see a massive decrease, and we definitely do right there. Um, budget report. Okay, we're starting to see the gap widen between income and expenditure, even though the global economy is a bit shaky at the moment, so we've got to be wary of that. We need to introduce this new tax, and the new tax that we've got to introduce, we have a choice between the carbon tax and the flat income tax. I don't think we want to introduce the flat income tax, purely because it's going to exacerbate income inequality. However, CO2 tax, that would be a pretty good idea, I think. 
everyone is going to hate us a bit more. Why? It's going to reduce our CO2 emissions, though, and it's going to take a massive chunk out of our GDP. That's uh, it's a difficult choice. Energy efficiency, though, and environmentalists uh, are going to like us a bit more. Not to mention, we get 600 billion for it. So that's really the uh, the driving force behind introducing the carbon tax is the fact that we're going to have a a massive surplus. Hey, let's look at the economic forecast. Yep, as you can see, our income skyrocketed, and hopefully now we're gonna we're gonna get through that that massive pile of debt much much quicker. Um, our expenditure has also been dropping. That's that's awesome. Um, I don't know why it is dropping. I would presume it's the military spending taking effect. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many turns that takes to take effect. Eight turns, yeah. So we're so we're seeing a, a, a slow and steady reduction in our military spending, which is nice. Which means we'll have even more money to spend on whatever we need to. Uh, obviously, it's going to take six turns to implement the the spending in the police force. That's fine. We can wait that long. We're not on any rush specifically. Um, private prisons. We're going to cancel this policy. We don't want private prisons around. No, not at all. Um, this asthma epidemic is not showing any sign of going away. This alcohol abuse is not showing any sign of going away. Uh, well, what about this? Antisocial behavior, that's going to end soon. And internet crime, that is not going to end soon. Perhaps can we increase the money that we're paying to the intelligence services? I suppose that... Is it worth it, though, for an extra $10 billion? Oh, no, this is the armed police. What am I talking about? Um, intelligence services. Here we go. Okay. It's not really worth it. I mean, internet crime goes down a little bit, but we're spending an extra $3 billion on it. I think we're just going to keep our political capital, and then we're probably going to think about introducing the... Uh, the uh, this tax here, the flat income tax. Now, I did say I didn't really want to do that, and I still don't. But at the same time, if we could have the money, then we could spend a heck of a lot more of it. Uh, we're going to limit debt agency activities, because, of course, we're on the side of the socialists. Socialist plot? Are you kidding me? We're, we, want, we, want to, we want to be with the socialists. We have a surplus of 818 billion. Awesome. Okay, what don't they like? They don't like labor laws. Well, let's change labor laws. Pro-union. Okay, that's going to make everybody happy with it. It's going to reduce our productivity a little bit. Capitalists aren't going to be too happy. Working week is going to go down by 18%. Uh, trade unionists are going to like us and socialists are going to like us. Let's do that. Right? Because... Having a socialist plot is just is just not good enough, I'm afraid. Not good enough. Equality, we also need to bump up equality. How can we do that? Well, we are going to eradicate private pensions, and we're going to do that through increased spending in state in state pensions. Uh, we need to eradicate private, uh, private health care, and we're going to do that through increased spending through state health care. Um, but before we can do that, we need money. And that's why we're massively trying to cut our debt. Antisocial behavior has ended. That's awesome. Crime is down across the board. Uh, debt next term, uh, next turn will be completely eliminated, which is what we like to see. Our expenditure continues to fall, which is lovely. Uh, our GDP is is having a little bit of a tough time, and so is the global economy. That's all right. Um, I think we'll I think we'll manage. Homelessness. We're also going to introduce uh, state state housing, or increase spending on state housing anyway. Uh, that's private housing. No, we are we are going to introduce state housing if it's not already been impl implemented. Uh, that's fine. We're not we're not too concerned by that. High productivity. I'm expecting that to go down because the because uh, we we've sided with the with the unions and the and the and the socialists on the on the on the uh, on the on the issue of labor laws. So that's that's not ideal. But hey ho, we have 26 political capital. What can we do with that? Good question. I think it's probably about time that we start bumping up spending in the state healthcare service and start trying to eradicate the private healthcare service. Um, so that would see a massive investment. And to be honest, I think we need it. We really do need it. Apart from wealthy people and capitalists, nobody dislikes it. That's fine. We need to make sure that we're reducing our, our capitalist uh, membership. So we really don't 
don't want that to, to, to be happening. Um, labor laws, that's going to reduce the number of capitalists as well. Small business grants, let's cancel that policy as soon as we have the opportunity to do so. Yeah. I think we're going to lower it right now. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to... We're going to save our political capital, and we're going to, next turn, we're going to we're going to change that. Okay, we want to go to membership. What makes them members? School vouchers. So we need to eradicate school vou vouchers and small business grants. So let's do that next turn, okay? That's the plan for this turn. Minimum wage. We're going to introduce the minimum wage law. GDP is down, unemployment is up, health is up. Okay, that's a bit of a mixed bag. I'm very, very happy that health is up, but at the same time, it's bad that unemployment is uh, is up. That's not good. That is not good at all. Hmm. Okay, what were we going to do? We were going to eradicate school vouchers. School vouchers are here. Um, let's get rid of this. Cancel this policy. And I don't think we have enough political capital to cancel the policy of small business grants. No, we don't. We're going to have to hold on to the next turn. That's fine. We can do that. That's all right ethnic plot that's a bit worrying but that's fine we have a budget surplus that's awesome okay now is the time that we are going to absolutely increase our expenditure in healthcare have we already bumped it up I think we already have I think we've already bumped it up yeah we have bumped it up that's awesome okay and um, what else are we gonna do capitalists don't like us that's not good. Their, their membership is going down slightly. Small business grants. Let's cancel this policy. Yep. Okay. Policy is cancelled. That's fine. What else do we have to deal with? Well, we have quite a few problems to deal with, actually. And, uh, and we're going to solve them, hopefully, in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Open Potato. If you've enjoyed, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.